Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how we can implement the Drupal's module Composer Manager and use Composer packages easily inside a Drupal module. First of all, let's install the package. Uh, I'm sorry, the Drupal module. So Drupal Composer Manager. So this is the module which will allow us to use Composer packages. Uh, this is for Drupal 7, 6, 8 is in the beta and if you see the image basically it, it tells us all the packages which are currently there and you know anyone which is not required, a lot of things. So let's get started. I will install this package. I have Drush installed so I will use Drush to install this package. Uh, I'm inside the Drupal installation folder, so Drush EM and this needs to download it. Download it, enabled, and I should see this now on my modules listing. So we are done. Now let's see my module listing page. and I have this. Let's go to the configuration page and see what are the different settings available. Okay, so the packages rebuild composer JSON file is basically when we change any of our modules composer JSON file then we need to build the composer JSON which is generally placed inside default files composer directory. Now we don't have installed any module which requires composer so it is blank and let's go to the settings page I can tell Drupal where all my composer packages will go so the vendors directory is where we can set all the packages to get downloaded which I will not change for now and these are some of the options like automatically build the composer JSON file when enabling or disable modules in Drupal UI and automatically update composer dependencies when enabling or disabling module through Drush so as you can see I have installed this module through Drush and that's why it must have built the composer JSON file but unfortunately I have not installed any module which requires it. So let's start creating our own module and see how things go. Okay so the first step will be creating our own module sites all modules I will create a custom directory cd custom it's empty mkdir my module and let's touch two files my module.info and module all right uh, this is PHP, anything important. Uh, let's get the info file with some default data. Copy, paste. Copy. Which package now? Why? I don't have a configuration page. I will not require this I need a version core project and say my underscore module date stamp can be left as it is and okay now this module should have a composer JSON file so let's create a JSON file new composer.json so this is the basic composer json structure which we will require what I will do is download a package which is quite interesting okay I'll search for database and you see illuminate database is a database package which is being used by the Laravel framework I simply copy this and 
here we go now this file needs to get updated inside the default files composer composer json as you can see right now the require has only php version 3.0.0 which is not what i want so what we can do is first enable our module okay here is my module save configuration okay error writing json file now why would that have appeared oh yes i forgot i need to give write permissions to city default files chmod gio plus rw recursive to files i'll do a sudo okay now I have already installed the module so one thing which I can do is go disable it and then again go and enable it now let's see if it works yes it does a composer JSON file was written on this location and just to confirm that it does what we will do is sites default files composer composer json and yes we have this so now it's time to load up the package which we have required as you can see the config directory vendor directory is set to dot 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 uh, all libraries which is basically it goes out of files and then into the all directory libraries and composer okay so cd files cd composer and then i do a sudo composer oh sorry i don't need sudo composer update and let's wait for the packages to get downloaded okay so what has happened is you know while i tried to install the module or rather the package it gave me an error because it's on a dev release right now so and we need a stable stable version so what I am going to do is let you know how we can rebuild a JSON file I will change this particular version to 5.0.28 which is a stable release and then I will go to composers configuration page and rebuild the composer JSON file so what will happen is if you see the composer json file inside sites all default files composer gets updated with the latest changes inside my module composer json file once this is done i have done a composer update which is here and it has installed all the required packages which is being used by illuminate database okay so let's quickly write some code inside our module to validate whether it's working or not I'll quickly run a hook menu which should be something like this okay so this is the custom hook menu which I have written I will require this to set up a page so quickly go and inside my configuration performance just clear the cache uh, I need to echo something sorry so function equal one two three just to check that my, my page is coming properly uh, okay the cache is cleared and let's open a new page my URL was my page so, okay so my hook menu is working and now it's time to add the package let's go to the github page to get the documentation okay I need to use this as capsule so let's add that on top of the module file then what I can do is inside this function I do dollar capsule equals new capsule okay. 
a little bit of indentation problem oops okay uh, my database is Drupal underscore learning I suppose let's double check that um, yeah it's Drupal underscore tutorial so tutorial. okay password is password root everything seems fine um, okay next part I don't need to fire events to the eloquent models so I don't need this part I will require this let's copy this and this all right and just to make sure that no errors are coming up let's refresh and check if everything is working okay it does so it's time to write our own query what I will do is dollar user equals capsule table users get and let's var dump dollar users so user all right so you can see we got the exact data which comes from a laravel based query just to give you a better understanding let's all right so as you can see this allows us to do a lot of quick modifications for example if we have a requirement where we need to query the database and create a CSV out of it which is download report I can quickly go and you know kind of search for the packages uh, which is I think league CSV let's search for league CSV all right and I will download stable one this time I will go to my modules composer JSON I will add this control s go to the configuration page okay it rebuilt the JSON file just validate it's correct yes it, it is now let's do a composer update again and I will be back once I'm done okay so once the package is downloaded what I will do is let's quickly go to their official documentation which I can find here in the example section you will see there's a snippet which is written um, where was it yeah so in this it is querying the database getting the object passing the first row insert all and then the output so we can use this in our module as well I'll use copy this part use league csv writer writer is the uh, class which is required to create a csv file reader is another class which is required to read a csv file obviously right now I am only required to write a file so what I will do is just keep copying everything uh, okay I've missed this uh, CSV equals writer create uh, yeah. all right and as you can see the STH is the PTO result which is passed on uh, I can instead pass my dollar user okay and CSV output as USV CSV dot user and die. All right, so this should work. It does users dot CSV and here it is. 
all right to make it a little better what we can do is let's first change the query select what are the tables let's quickly go to php my admin what do i want oh sorry let's log in again databases Google tutorial i have only two users uh, the default one so what i can do is select name email address and is there anything else okay the time uh, time zone maybe so select name how is it mail sorry and time zone right so t i m e z o n e it's in the select i will copy the same thing on the first row okay n should be capital m and the t all right run this page again and as you can see it's a better formatted csv file all right so this was how we can implement the composer package manager module from drupal and once we have that installed we can practically you know use any package which is available on packages and you know this gives gives us a whole new way of writing code in drupal that's about it if you have enjoyed my tutorial do subscribe to my uh, channel and also i have my own blog which is amitavroy.com which you can visit i keep posting a lot of articles related to web development on this website and if you find them interesting you can subscribe to my updates all right thank you